Good day and welcome back to Coach Creek. Today we are going to be doing part three of the Fjording Basic Series and in this part we are going to be going over the throwing technique. Throwing technique is important as it will help with our consistency in throwing in one area the whole time and will also help with injury prevention and making sure that the muscles work in the right way. I'll be going through the throwing technique from the bottom all the way to the top of the body and then we are going to show you a couple of drills to help enforce these motions. Moving from the bottom would obviously start with our feet. Look at our feet. If I'm throwing towards the camera, I'd make sure that my back foot, which is the same as my throwing hand, is pointing at a right angle way, so perpendicular to our target. And making sure that the front foot is pointing towards our target. If I have to move slightly up from there, we're going to look at the knees next. We want our knees slightly bent, as this is going to help us drive into the ball. And also, generally, from a throwing position, you're going to be coming from low, so the knees should be bent already. This is going to help us with power in the throwing motion. From there we're going to look at our hips and shoulders, making sure that they're in the same line that our feet are pointing. And then from there we're going to look at our chest, be nice and open, pointing away from our target. Hands, both hands are nice and high, making sure the elbows are both above your shoulders as you're going to throw over the top, get a nice motion over. So from here, making sure that you hold the ball cross seam, because when you're throwing it into your keeper or bowler, making sure that the ball doesn't swing, so it's nice and easy to gather. From there, pointing nice and far away, nice and over the top. If we have to go through the actual throw now, the throwing arm, which is my right arm, is going to come over the top. As that's happening, you're going to see my back leg driving through to 180 degree, and both arms pulling through to enable me to drive forward towards where I'm throwing. So if we have to look from the side, obviously now throwing directly away from the camera at the right angle, right foot is pointing towards the camera, Left foot is pointing towards my target. Knees are slightly bent. Hips and shoulders are towards where I want to throw. Both elbows are nice and high. Hands pointing away. From there, I'm going to throw through to 180. For this draw, we are going to have the player seated with the legs extended in front of him, throwing perpendicular to where his body is. This is to focus on making sure that the throwing arm and the leading arm both pull through and past the front side of the body. At this point in the video, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this channel so that you can get all our content as it releases. For the first draw, the player is going to start on their knee, so we're only worrying about the upper half of the body and the way it moves. But having said that, the right knee is still going to be bent and at a perpendicular angle to the front leg. From there, hands nice and high, and you're going to throw towards the coach with a mitt or bare hand. From there, you're trying to make sure that you throw directly towards your target and let everything move towards that, completing nice and through with your hands in and by your hip and your left arm kicking through to the back. For this next draw, we are going to link everything up. As you are throwing, please make sure that now with the bottom half focus as well, everything is moving towards the target. So the back leg is driving to 180 degrees from where it started and landing in front of your front foot making sure that you're thrown over the top, that your elbow stays above your shoulder for as long as possible. This is going to take a lot of the pressure off of the shoulder joint in the throw itself. For the time being, when it comes to throwing technique, we're going to focus more on the overhand throw, as this is where a lot of the shoulder injuries come from, and also some of the elbow injuries. For the underarm throwing, it is important to realize that a lot of the time it is more of a reactive thing, trying to get a quick run out or get the ball in as quickly as you can. That is just going to be trying to get your body going towards the target and releasing the ball as quick as possible. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it or found it useful, please leave a like as this helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Remember to leave us your questions in the comment section below as we do try and answer all of them. Lastly, please consider subscribing to the channel and share it as you see fit.